Can Springs Utilities does say the increase is based on the necessity to increase infrastructure and regulatory demands. But what exactly does that mean? Brett Forrest joins us to dig a little deeper into this. Every good morning. So the base rates support pipes, wires, plants that provide our utility services. And for the 2025 budget being discussed today, their capital projects make up nearly 34% of that budget. And it's a 45% increase from capital projects in the 2024 budget. So these include upgrades to water treatment plants, wastewater treatment plants, pump stations, water valves, facilities, technology, amongst many others. And Springs Utilities says regulatory requirements mean they do need more infrastructure to comply with state law to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 2030, in addition to our city's growth. We continue to keep an eye on those state regulations. What we have agreed to with the state is to follow um, that 80% reduction by 2030 um, and 90% by uh, 2050 is the um, standards that we're currently under. There is um, definitely movement from in the state and in the state house to say, is that enough? And I do want to point out that $14 a month increase Jake mentioned, that's just for 2025. It'll be slightly higher increase each year until 2029 if this is approved. You can see those rates on your screen there. Altogether, about $80 a month more for the average residential bill. And remember, Springs Utilities is community owned, meaning that they uh, do not make a profit on these rates. And according to them, Springs Utilities total bill about 10% lower on average compared to other front range utility providers.